Hi everyone, how's it going? Yeah, I'm still here. Um, I'm actually going to London tomorrow. Um, there were some problems with the travel. I think it, I thought initially that there were no trains or coaches out, but as it turns out, after like after me getting my head together and understanding that there is no way that was ever going to happen, I realized there were some coaches, but. Um, given the amount of time it would take for me to get to London by coach, um, I decided it kind of wasn't worth it. So I am going to go to London tomorrow. Um, and I know what you guys are saying. Mum is clearly in a serious situation and she is in a serious situation. So why the fuck would you wait until tomorrow? Well, the first thing is this. The first thing is, is that there are already like minor improvements when it comes to my mum, there are already minor improvements happening. Her oxygen is still low, but she's been given an oxygen mask and um, she's dazed and she's sleeping a lot, but she's actually quite stable at the moment. Um, the second thing is, is that there's going to be a procedure tried on her to, um, to do something about uh, the sepsis that she's got because that's what she's in hospital with. She's in hospital with sepsis. Um, Cause remember like she's also been attacked with electronic weapons on top of the fact that she can't, oh my God, this poor woman. So on top of the fact that she can't move and she can barely talk, she's also been attacked with the electronic weapons. So she's back in hospital again with sepsis. She had only been out for like, a week at most before she had to go back in. So it's like, all right, let me just, let me just pause. So there's um, a treatment being offered to her. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what it is until we find out exactly how well that's turned out for her. But as much, as angry as I was about everything that happened with my mum, deep down I kind of knew that she wasn't going to... I knew she wasn't going to leave us yet. I shouldn't say this on camera because I know that there are people who want to get to me and they will use my family to get to me. They will use anything to get to me. But I kind of knew in my heart that mum would live. There was a part of me that knew it and I knew how serious her condition was. I knew her ser how serious her situation was, but something told me she still, she still got like a lot of life left in her. I don't, I honestly don't know how. My mother is incredibly weak. She's had seven strokes at this point. She can barely, she's not walking. She can barely pick herself up. She can barely lift herself up. Uh, her cartilage is fucked like you know same I've got same problems with my cartilage my boyfriend has the same problem with his cartilage directed energy weapons have been fired on our cartilage on our joints as well as our internal organs and where my mum is concerned she already had sickle cell on top of what she was going through with the electronic weaponry so quite frankly I don't know how that woman is still alive I don't know how she's still able to function with everything that she's gone through in her life, but she's still here. Evidently, her body might be one thing, but her spirit is quite another thing. Her spirit must be a fucking titan to keep her around as long as it's kept her around. You know, there are so many other people who, you know, who are so-called healthier. You know, they're a healthier, you know, they're able to do more and they just don't live as long health wise and um, yet my mum is here still going still kicking I honestly don't know how I'm grateful but I don't know how after everything that she's gone through that woman's made a tough stuff my dad's the same my dad's been through the absolute most when it comes to his health he's still fighting and I honestly don't know how either of them survived for as long as they did but dad is that dad's even more determined than my mum is he's even more of a fighter than my mum is and that's saying a lot because my mum's a fucking fighter but it's like 
I, I don't know how she's made it. I just don't know how she's made it this far. And she's going to make, she's going to make it again. I can feel it. And it's just, I don't know. The only reason I'm still here is so that I don't rush. And when I get there, I get there. Everything's, everything's proper. Everything's right. Everything's prepared. There's, you know, there's no feelings batting around all over the place. Everybody's actually thought about what they're doing before they do it. And on top of that, there's so much to consider, like legally and all that type of stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I still feel a lot of the feelings that I had with the first video. They haven't gone away because I know exactly what's happened to her. But... I feel like the only thing that I can do now is to kind of ride the waves of these emotions whilst I still have a night to myself before I go to London. And I, knowing me, I'm not even going to be in London that long. I'll probably be there for a couple of days and then come back. Um, I just... I don't know. I just don't know. I have so many questions in my mind that I shouldn't even entertain, but I don't know. It's just scary. And I can't even imagine what it's like for my mum to go through this. You know that I do not sugarcoat anything when it comes to my family. I don't sugar... I love my family, but I do not sugarcoat anything when it comes to them. I don't sugarcoat anything, and they know better than anybody. I don't sugarcoat how I feel about the things they do and the things that they have done, and I talk about it at length all the time. But, you know, the fact that I love them is kind of me just loving them as they are and not how I want them to be. I don't love them how I want them to be. I love them as they are. You know, and I'm not going to do this whole thing of, oh, well, they're not perfect. No, like, perfect. We're not even good people. Fuck perfect. Many of us in our family, we're fucking mean. We're fucking mean. That's the truth. We're mean as hell. We're mean as hell and we do and say stupid things all the time to one another. We're not good people. We are not good people. But at the end of the day, I still love my family as they are. They could be as mean as they like. I am always going to love my family. And I feel like they're always going to love me, even though they have no clue who I am, really. I'm always going to love them. There's, there's, that's not going to change. And when it came to the gang stalkers games and their, their bullshit and their torture, trying to torture my mum like, so that I don't do anything, any rituals in the flat. As for that, the only thing, the, the thing that was really angering me, it wasn't even the fact that I couldn't do what I wanted to do in my own flat. I'm not being funny, but I have depression. I've been wanting to go out. I've been wanting to go somewhere. I've been wanting to travel out. But i got to deal with all kinds of bullshit every single time I go out. That's A. B. I was affected by the torture anyway, which made me stay in. I've been wanting to go out. I'm, I'm having to go tomorrow to London to visit my mother who's in hospital. And yet the thought of being out of this flat it actually made me a lot happier than it should have done. <laughs> it made me a lot happier than it should have done. I should not be this happy about leaving to go to London tomorrow. But I am. Because I'm, get, I'm getting out of the house. I'm going to see people that I actually have grown to like over the years. I don't have to stay here and listen to bullshit. I mean, sure, there's, you know, there's the risk of 
my home being contaminated and broken into every time I go out and go somewhere, but I'm actually going to see people that I like. I'm actually going to spend time with people that I like. I might, you know, I might even, you know, might even get a free meal out of it. I don't know. That's so horrible. I shouldn't say that shit, but like, there's, you know, there's so much to look forward to in going to see my family. Because like I said, we're mean, we're not good people. We're not. I could say, there is a lot that they could say about me and there's even more that I could say about them. We're not good people. But the fact that, you know, we're coming together now in a way that we never used to, it adds a new dimension to it. And yeah, that's, this is in full knowledge. I say this in full knowledge of the, in the fact that some of my family are definitely gang stalkers. There's no way they're not. I say that with absolute confidence that some of my family are gang stalkers. I know, I know this is what I'm talking about when I say my family's fucking mean. Because there ain't no way in hell you're going to gang stalk your own family member and be a good person. But I enjoy being around them. I enjoy talking to them, especially when I'm not living with them too much. I enjoy being around them and I still love them because they're my family. And I love them as they are. Now, as for them loving themselves as they are, that's up to them. They my job. I'm not, I, you know, I can love them for me. I can't love them in the way that they should love themselves. I can't do that. But I can accept them. I can accept the situation and I can do what I can for my family. I can do what I can for my mother. That's what I can do. So I'm going there tomorrow. I'm strangely looking forward to it because I get to see my siblings again. And I know that if I show up and my mum sees me, yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to it, believe it or not. So yeah. Anyway, I've got to go. Peace and blessings. Take care. Love you guys. Oh, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments as well. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.